the morning players. So I'm guessing Filthy Face Carrie Lake is in competition with Frumpy to the motherfucking dump to see who can lose one election the most times, honey. Y'all go ahead and grab your tea and have a seat. Filthy Face Carrie Lake has lost once again. Now, even though Filthy Face Carrie Lake and her sniffers are scurrying all over Annalise Keaton's internet, decreeing and declaring that she won at the Supreme Court yesterday, the lie detector has determined that that is a lie. Actually, the Arizona Supreme Court issued an order yesterday denying to review six of her seven claims. In her appeal to the Arizona Supreme Court, Carrie Lake argued that the appellate court's opinion must be reversed because the trial court did not appropriately review her claims and instead ruled that the Arizona election laws don't matter. The Arizona Supreme Court has discretionary jurisdiction, which means that the court must agree to review lower court's decision as opposed to automatically taking the appeal. Yesterday, the Arizona Supreme Court rejected six of Carrie Lake's seven claims and sent the remaining claim regarding signature matching back to the trial court to review. As we know, Filthy Face Carrie Lake lost to Katie Hobbs by over 17,000 votes. Carrie Lake has argued in trial court that Maricopa County ballot printers and tabulator failures created chaos on election day and that the certification of the results should be voided. She claimed that the printer malfunctions were intentional and that Maricopa County mishandled ballots during the canvassing in a way that affected the canvassing. Now, back in December, an Arizona trial court rejected Carrie Lake's claim, saying that Lake did not prove that any intentional misconduct affected the results of the election. So basically, she doesn't have any proof of any of these claims that she's making. And so we're, we're pushing forward. We can't allow this to happen. Even if it would have been just a mistake, right. it's still unacceptable. The law still supports redoing the election or setting aside that botched election and that's what we're asking the court to do either set that county aside set it aside redo the election but not with these buffoons and and crooks and criminals who ran it before so yesterday the arizona supreme court dismissed most of carrie lake's claims leaving one proceeding to head back to trial court so they ordered that carrie lake will have to prove that during the 2020 election maricopa county use of signature matching on early mail-in ballots did not comply with the arizona law and that this alleged misconduct altered the outcome of the election in addition, the Arizona Supreme Court stated that Carrie Lake may file a reply to the respondent's motions for sanctions against her and her attorneys. Players, this is really ridiculous and a hot boo shit to miss. We're going to be in 2050 and Carrie Lake is still going to be saying that it's not over to keep recounting the votes. Players, put your thoughts in the comments. This is Double D Mobile for the Black Accurate News.